Way back on January 22, 1886, in the countryside of Manitowan Island, Canada, Isabella Patterson was welcomed to the world. Little did folks then realize that she would grow up to be such a powerhouse voice in the realms of libertarianism and humanitarian efforts. Isabel had this vision, a world where everyone had the freedom to chase their dreams without someone constantly looking over their shoulder. She firmly believed in the brilliance of the free market, where people had the power to decide for themselves, make their own choices, and create their own destinies. Now, some folks might wonder why she was so passionate about all this. Simple. For Isabel, individual liberty wasn't just an abstract idea. It was the very essence of humanitarianism. In her eyes, when people are truly free, they flourish. And when they flourish, the world becomes a better place. Pretty cool perspective, right? Every brilliant mind has its unique quirks and ways of seeing the world. And while Isabel was undoubtedly a leading light in the libertarian, humanitarian landscape, there were a few times when her ideas swayed just a tad from the classic libertarian playbook. These weren't necessarily bad deviations, just a different way of looking at things. And hey, that's what makes life interesting. For those of you keen to journey into the mind of Isabel Patterson, here are some books that might be totally worth your time. The God of the Machine, which was her most famous work. Never Ask the End, The Fourth Queen. And there you have it, a glimpse into the life and times of the fantastic Isabel Patterson. For those who want to do a deep dive, be sure to check out her Wikipedia page. 